Hello guys and welcome to Walking Project. Today I've got Nokia 3310 and you're gonna see it scratched, burned and bent. So let's get it on, shall we? So that's the new Nokia 3310 guys with a price tag of about 50 pounds. It's purely made of grid, but how durable it is, we're about to find out in the today's video. I've been using this phone as my daily driver for about a week now. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of scratching on the back cover. It's not very serious, but I was extremely careful with the phone, which makes me a little bit concerned of the overall build quality. So I don't have the most scale of hardness picks, but I've got this knife over here. It's about level 5 and uh, to prove that to you that's the Moto Z the Gorilla Glass on this phone doesn't scratch up until level 6 so let's see if my knife makes any scratches check this out I've got absolutely nothing on the screen over here so let's see how durable the Nokia 3310 screen is and if my razor blade is going to make any scratches to the screen. Oh man. There was a point that I was thinking that this screen is actually made of glass. But as you can see, that's pure plastic over here. You can clearly see the scratches on the screen, guys. Let's see something more regular. As your keys, for example, they're supposed to be... <laughs> Check this out. They're supposed to be in about level 4 or something like that, so let's check it out. Actually, that's kind of good. Your screens... Uh oh, that one does a scratch here. Check this out. So basically, that screen, I would suggest, is about level three something like that which is basically pure plastic let's continue on the buttons over here let's see what we can do oh man i can decorate the phone like that check this out it's kind of nice and let's see let's see the middle button over here And these buttons here what about that thing here Oop, there we go it's gone so <laughs> it's all cheap plastic over here let's check the logo out let's check the logo out of course it's underneath the plastic so it's not going to be very visible when you scratch it but still on the sides we've got nothing so it's pointless to do a scratch test over here so let's directly jump to the back of the phone guys so let's actually do it like that So that's pure plastic as you can see over here. Let's check the camera flash quickly. Again, it's plastic as well. And let's check the camera lens. Unfortunately, the camera lens is pure plastic as well. It moves around when I, when I scratch it. So let's see if we can pop this baby open. Yep, there we go. So, that was pretty easy. I hope they sell spare parts for this one. So, as you can see, you can expect quite a lot of scratches. Let's jump back to the keys. In everyday usage, that's what you're gonna get on your phone all day long. It's not very bad, but it doesn't actually go away. Let's see, with a little bit of wet. Nah, your back cover is permanently damaged, guys. Let's see the Nokia logo then. What do we have here? Oops. We've got a Nexus 6 situation over here. If you remember the Nexus 6. Yep. But check it on the positive side. You can always take the Nokia logo out. 
and put it somewhere else that you like it more. Yeah, that didn't look very good. So let's leave the letters aside. Anyway, at this point, we shall proceed to the burn test. And that's not exactly what you think it is. It's actually a lighter. So let's see how the durable screen is and how many seconds it's gonna last until it does something. Let's check this out. It's about 10 seconds now. And as you can see, the screen is already melted. Simply because that's not a glass, that's pure plastic. So I'm a little bit sad to see this one coming, but what can we do? So yeah, definitely not gonna damage the LCD itself, but as you can see, this plastic bit over here is very easy to uh, melt. So let's proceed to the band test, the moment that you're all been waiting for, and that's the moment that you hit the subscribe button. You can check my full review of the Nokia 3310 in the link down there, and let's start bending. I'm gonna use moderate force at first, and after that I'm gonna push some more. I'm just an average guy, not very strong, not very weak, but no matter how hard I press, I can't really bend it. Let's see on this side. Oh, as you can see, the back cover popped a little bit. You just pop it back on and uh, let's do a little bit more. Nah. It doesn't bend, it doesn't bend at all. And the glass and the plastic screen didn't bend either. So, in terms of durability, thumbs up from me guys. So thank you very much for watching, subscribe to my channel as well. In the next video I might do a quick tear down and a repairability test. So hit me up in the comments, let me know if you like to see that from my channel. So thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the next one.